Hello and welcome to another episode of Ray J Reviews. In this episode, I'm going to tell you about my cruise on the Carnival Freedom in 2018. So me and my friend Joey, we went on a cruise uh, this year and uh, did a lot of the normal cruise stuff. We went on some excursions, uh, did some snorkeling, did some photography. It was a lot of fun. Uh, cruises always are. The cruise director, Malcolm, did a great job as usual. But what made this cruise a little different was that I got to uh, meet uh, a magician and mentalist who performed on board the cruise. His name is Anshul. And it was great fun. He made the cruise a lot more fun because uh, he interacted with us quite a bit, kind of became friends uh, as much as you can in a few days. And I uh, got to talk with him and learn a little bit about what he does. And you get to hear from him right now. So, hello everyone. We are here on the Carnival Freedom on the third day of our cruise out of Galveston. I'm here with Anshul. He is a magician. He goes table to table. I guess he's also called a mentalist, I think. He does all kinds of great magic tricks. He's been entertaining us for several days. And you're going to get a chance to learn a little bit more about him, what makes him tick, and uh, what makes this a great job. So uh, thank you for uh, spending a few time, you know, a little bit of time with me and talking about this. And uh, I've been talking with him over the last couple of days and uh, thought it'd be best to catch this on video so I don't forget. So, so thank you so much for uh, joining me and doing this. So tell me, um, when did you start performing magic tricks, like just for fun, where you knew you wanted to do it, and then when did you shift over to actually getting paid for it? So basically it started when I was young, when I was like 10 year old, a kid. I was fascinated towards magic by watching television shows, and my parents used to, used to take me to magic shows, there were magic shows in the town. So I used to go there, I used to see magic tricks, and always I used to wonder, wonder that, uh, even I can do that. If he can do it, even I can do it. So I want to learn magic. So one day, uh, my parents came to me as a Christmas gift. They got me a small magic kit, and it contained like 10 different magic tricks, like basic ones. Uh -huh. So I started practicing there. They had some instruction sheets in it. I practiced. I started performing for family members, relatives, and uh, school friends, everyone. And it started like that. But then I got more and more interested in magic. I wanted to develop my skills in it. Mm -hmm. So I found a local magic shop in the locality. Okay. I went there, I showed him that this is all of what I got. So I, I want to learn more. And he was like, okay. So he gave me some things and I purchased them. I started doing uh, practice. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like we develop our skills by practicing more and more, like learning new things. Right. So that's how I started in magic. But then when I was in grade 12, it was our like important uh, important career making point. And my parents told me that you have to become a chartered accountant, which you call in America a CPA, okay. an accountant. Yes. So I was like, no, I want to become a magician. <laughs> and my father was like, what? You want to become a magician? Are you crazy? And I said, no, I really want to become a magician. And, but still they forced me that, no, you have to do your accountancy. You have to complete your studies. I said, okay, I'll complete my studies. but. Accounting, I can do that because it takes a lot of efforts, right? <laughs> so, even magic takes a lot of efforts, but this is what I love. So still, I gave the entrance exam for our CPA, which is CA in India. Mm -hmm. And I was so lucky that it was my first attempt and I failed. Nope. Well, that's what you call luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. and that was a turning point of my life, which changed my life totally. Wow. So then after my parents told me, all right, do whatever you want. So, it, so you, you pursued your uh, accounting what we call CPA, and then, uh, then your parents said, okay, go ahead and pursue uh, becoming a magician. Uh, what was the turning point? What was something special that may have happened that, that made things work for you, that, that, that got you moved forward in that career? Uh, so the special thing uh, happened was, uh, there was a competition, which was national level competition in okay. 2016, uh, in the month of May, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I went there, I was not uh, planning to compete and win some competition, but I went there, I competed, uh, and I came second all over India. Wow. And then after, I got uh, the news that international competition is happening 
in India itself, but people from all around the countries are coming, like people from South Korea, Bangkok, Thailand, everyone is coming. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, registered myself and I was not again planning, I was, uh, but this time I was prepared. So I, I took a break for three months. I was focusing on that small magic trick which I was about to perform in the competition. So I did the thing and I was so lucky that I came first in that close up magic competition. Awesome. So there I met one guy, he told me that why don't you take your magic to uh, like international level? So I said I can travel my own because I'm too young for this, right? Mm -hmm. And by the way, I would like you to know that I'm still twenty one. <laughs> and I'm here sitting with you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so he told me that cruise ship is a very good opportunity where you, the people hire you as a magician. Mm -hmm. You can go all around the world. You can make friends. You can do your thing. And I was very happy. So I found out a company who recruits on cruise ship, and Carnival was one of them. Yeah, I submitted my resume, everything, and within two months, I got a call that you have been selected. You have to come for an interview. And I went for interview, captain took my interview, and ship manager was even there. Mm -hmm. So I impressed them, he was, they were very happy. Yeah. And within two months, uh, my visa, medical, everyone, everything was done, and I'm here. Great, okay. okay. So, uh, would it be okay for you to show us a trick on camera here? We'll, oh, set, wow. the, we'll set the camera up just for the scene, so you're okay with showing us that? Yeah, of course. Okay, that, great. I would love it. Okay, great. I'm not much of a shuffler, I mean, I don't know cards, so. You may don't do fifty to card. You may end up picking up. <laughs> well, that's exactly well, that's what might that's right? might what happened here. Um, see, I don't even handle cards. I, I just want to make sure that your, your job is, you're, you're not getting any competition from me. <laughs> no, go through the cards. Make sure each and every card is different from the back, from the front. All look good. As far as I know, from my expertise with cards, yes. Okay. I want you to pick one card for me. And not the one you're swinging around. Oh, if you do so, oh, you don't want this card, that's perfect. Yeah. Pick a different one. No, you're you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, yeah. pick a different one. Okay. <laughs> now don't show me the card. Of course. Show it to the camera. I'm not looking. Okay, we're looking at the camera. Hold it steady. They should see that now. Uh, okay. You saw the card? Now hand me the card face down. I don't want to see the card. Okay. And I'm going to put it in the deck. So your card is lost in a deck. I don't know where is the card, right? So I'm gonna put the deck right here. Now this is called mentalism. This is called telekinesis, like moving objects with the mind. And is that your card? <laughs> Excellent. Great job. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right. Perfect. I also had a chance to capture. Uh, some of his acts as he's performing it for some ladies at a table there during dinner and you get to take a look at that now. Now hold your hands down. That's perfect. Face down. And hold them a little bit far from each other so that they're not touching each other. I would ask you, are you right handed or left handed? Why don't you know that? What's that? <laughs> you couldn't guess it. <laughs> oh, I'm a magician, of course, right? <laughs> so in a moment I'm gonna ask you to make a now, yeah, both of them, both of them, that's perfect. Now, in a moment, I'm going to snap my finger and here to move one place towards me, alright? Okay. Now, this one is perfect. Put your hands on. We're going to use this one. Put your hands on. Watch, have you ever seen a magic trick when the magician disappears and reappears somewhere? Have you seen that before? Yeah, on television. I'm going to do it for you live. <laughs> There's no way that's going to be, there's no way, there's no way that's going to be a person's hand. No, what's no, this? What's this? This is a plus mark, right? What's this? One, two, and make your fist completely flat. Right? One, two, and three. Now hang on. Either one. My mark completely disappears. Are you funny? And reappears. No! Show me. What? Show me. <laughs> oh my god. Are you So anyway, it was great fun. That's all I have for you in this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and watch other episodes of Ray J Reviews. But most important, I hope that you can get out and enjoy life.
Unroll that piece oh. of paper. Camera. Got it. <laughs> and make sure it won't come off. From that, from that. It's real, it's not just stuck on. No. Oh my god. Now what happened? How? Yeah, how? Great. How? Are you supposed to tell you do this? I'm oh yeah, send it. I wish you could always tell us his tricks. <laughs> <laughs>